Man, Marvel fans, do I have a banger of a Moon Knight video for you today. A couple of really wild rumors that I think are accurate about the Moon Knight series. I want to talk about those and combine them with other crazy things we've talked about in the past. Holy mother love and love mothers, this show is going to be epic. I knew it. Okay, you guys are not going to regret this. What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdventures Tower. As per usual, Nerdventures, smash like on that video if you are hyped up for the Moon Knight series. Couple of new reports that I want to get right into. This one just popped up yesterday for Halloween. Kind of a fun little Halloween thing. Maybe you saw this pop up coming from the direct here. Marvel rumor teases Blade's appearance in Disney Plus Moon Knight show. Many of us thought this could be on the menu seeing Oscar Isaac act across from Mahershala Ali's Blade, an incredible opportunity. Let's read into this report, then I'll talk about some of the other things going on, one of which is even more mind-blowing to me than this one. You just blew my mind. Now, they're saying here that this comes from the moderator team on Marvel Studios Spoiler subreddit. I know a couple of people over there. I think they're very solid with their scoops, with the reports that they have. They have a lot of stuff that they sort of hold back to try to keep people's identities uh, a secret and not like, you know, expose people to being fired from a job or whatever. So I do believe that the other part of this report actually comes from them as well. But interestingly, here's what it says. The moderator team on the Marvel Studios spoiler subreddit shared in a post that Mahershala Ali would appear as Blade in Oscar Isaac's Moon Knight Disney Plus show. Interestingly, in a previous rumor from November of 2019, movie insider Daniel Rickman unveiled that Moon Knight may connect to Blade with the MCU movie potentially featuring the two characters side by side. Now, that's already really, really wild. Okay, so insane possibilities of Mahershala Ali being in the Moon Knight series. Now, I don't think he would be a huge part of the series, but that's yet to be determined. There's a couple really interesting things going on here. First of all, we don't know a lot about the Mahershala Ali Blade movie at all, but I am remembering a report from Nick Santos over at the Hashtag Show where he talks about the Midnight Suns being set up, and he did say that you were gonna get a lot of that set up in the Moon Knight series. He actually said in that report that there was gonna be a Blade series as well as a Blade movie, and one month us begin to wonder is this what he was referring to was he hearing maybe that there was this show that was going to introduce Blade as well as a movie and it just happens to also be the Moon Knight show you know because sometimes this becomes a game of telephone and you got to sort of read the tea leaves of what these different scoopers or insiders are saying and then try to use your own logic to try to pull it all together now other people that are rumored to be in this show are also Werewolf by Night and then very interestingly the Punisher Frank Castle played by John Bernthal is also rumored to be in this show and if you look at the post that was over there on the uh, Marvel Studios subreddit, I'll pull it up again on the research board for you guys right here. A couple of interesting things it says here. Mahershala Ali will appear. Okay, so Blade's going to be in there. This is the part that's really blowing my mind. Dracula as a major villain being kept extremely secretive leaker suspects that ethan hawk will be revealed to be dracula later on in the series now that's pretty wild we don't know for sure if that's going to be the case but guys holy crap dracula being involved Ethan Hawke potentially being Dracula in the show. Mind-blowing stuff. Gets me very, very excited for the possibilities. And it would explain why Blade would be coming into that. And dude, guys, what if this whole thing is to set up that future movie where you're going to have Ethan Hawke as Dracula in some kind of a struggle in the actual Blade film itself. That is mind-blowing. If we read on here, it says major Egyptian actor cast as Khonshu. That's the god that gives Moon Knight his powers. And then here's something really interesting. Ayo, who I believe is the Dora Milaje from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, has a major role in the Moon Knight show. Mark fights a target that the Dora were tracking 
working. And Ayo gets Mark into the United States. Very, very crazy stuff going on with the inclusion of Ayo, the Dora Milaje, and Wakanda in general. And we know Wakanda has a big to do with everything MCU going forward. But one of the last places I would have ever expected Wakanda to have some kind of a presence in would be the Moon Knight show. But I suppose it makes sense. If they're over in Egypt, right? That's very near and close to where Africa is, where Wakanda is, perhaps where they would be operating. The fact that he would be going after a target that the Dora were tracking, that could make a lot of sense as well. And then she being the one that gets him into the United States, that's really freaking interesting to me and setting up all sorts of crazy possibilities like you know, like Bucky, Winter Soldier, like all sorts of fun stuff. Just feels like really cool Marvel connective tissue. I'm into it. And let's just stop for a second and talk about how absolutely insane this whole thing might be. Okay, so first of all, you have Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight. That's incredible. We've seen some of the leaks. It looks like a very cool costume. Looks like a very fun, action-filled uh, series. That in and of itself is going to be awesome. Ethan Hawke, I'm a huge fan of Ethan Hawke, regardless of who he was going to be playing. And there have been many different rumors. That was going to be very, very fun. Like, whoa, Ethan Hawke very high caliber actor has done a lot of like action movies you know especially in the early 2000s i remember just loving him in that post training day era of him doing a ton of fun stuff like that right so you have that all going on but then you add in the possibility of getting the Punisher involved, and that kind of makes sense, right? Like mercenaries, Mark Spector's a mercenary. They're, you know, Punisher is doing his own kind of mercenary stuff, but for his own code. That's really, really interesting. You could see that begin to go into the Midnight Suns as well, as Frank Castle is a part of the Midnight Suns for a couple of different teams in the comics. But then you add in the fact that you might get Mahershala Ali Blade, man. And think about what we're talking about here, guys. A Midnight Suns team that's going to have Mahershala Ali Blade, Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight, possibly fighting against like a, a Dracula Ethan Hawke, and then you also have John Bernthal as the Punisher? I mean, dude, that just... That sounds like a nerdy wet dream. All of those dope actors together playing some of the most iconic Marvel roles, all getting together and doing some crazy supernatural stuff. Mind blowing, mind blowing stuff has me incredibly excited for the coming Moon Knight show. And we've heard so little about the Blade movie and, and it does sort of feel like the new thing for Marvel is to do ensemble stuff. I know like Shang-Chi was really like its own kind of film, like a phase one origin story film. They could do something like that with Blade. But part of me feels like with where they're going with this Midnight Sun supernatural side of stuff, it's actually possible that a lot of what happens in the Moon Knight show might translate into the Blade movie. You might see some of that going into the Blade movie, which again, this was a big philosophy that Kevin Feige had about the Disney Plus shows and his cinematic films, right? Originally, WandaVision was going to tee up in the Multiverse of Madness. The Secret Invasion show is said to tee up the Marvels, right? And so I think now that they've sort of tightened things up, we could be seeing a setup for that very thing, for the Moon Knight show to introduce us to Moon Knight, but a bunch of other characters as well. What if the Blade movie itself is more of a Midnight Suns thing, or even just fighting against Dracula, which Blade might attempt to do on his own, and then gather other allies for? I mean, Oscar Isaacs did say that what they were doing with the show was very ambitious, and it's going to be one of the wildest shows ever made. I do wonder what that could mean and again we just haven't heard a lot about blade we've got these rumors of midnight suns i feel like it's all kind of going in that direction and i just wouldn't be surprised if the blade movie itself wasn't really a midnight suns movie with blade being the center focused character kind of like what they did in uh winter soldier and then a civil war with captain america right so we'll see yet to be determined regardless crazy rumors about the moon knight series what do you make of all of this mahershala ali blade Dracula maybe being in this 
AO being in this and then the old Punisher rumors sounds insane to me. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel to see more of our content pop up in your recommended feed and go check out the live streaming channel, man. We have a ton of fun over there streaming together. You can bring a question on by whatever you're feeling. Come on by for a live stream. It's always a good time over there. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.